Hello everybody, this is The Traditionalist, and unfortunately I have some bad news. So, as we all know, liberalism is about free speech, right? Wrong. Well, the, actually it would be correct to say liberalism used to be about free speech, but not anymore. So, whether or not you agree with free speech, the fact is, being a liberal used to mean you believed in free speech. That's what, that was one of the main things about being liberal. It meant allowing people to say what they want. Which is a white fucking privileged racist fucking male that doesn't stand for women's rights. Get the fuck out of here! And get that camera out of my face! Um, and not being censored by the government. In fact, conservatives um, used to, you know, censor people who they didn't like. And the liberal movement emerged as a reaction where they said that people should have the right to express their opinions. However, funnily enough, now everything has completely changed. Nowadays, being a liberal means that you do not support free speech because it hurt my feelings. The fifth president of the United States of America. <laughs> so, despite the fact that we live in a so-called liberal West, in reality, censorship is coming back. And that is because some social justice warriors had their feelings hurt. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Oh, feels so bad for you. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Triglypuff. Um, but anyways, the thing is, if we live in a so-called liberal society, then people should be allowed to express what they want. You're fucking a white male! Now, if we lived in North Korea, or, you know, most dictatorships really, then yeah, I mean, I would still be supporting free speech, but at least though, the North Koreans wouldn't be hypocrites if they decided to censor people. But the fact is, we're not in North Korea. The fact is, we live in most of us, at least most of the people watching, and the people that I'll be talking about live in countries that are supposedly liberal democracies where everyone has the right to express themselves. But no, 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 now you'll be arrested by the social justice police because you offended someone's feelings, and feelings are more important than facts. And so the problem here is that liberals nowadays don't support free speech anymore. They only support free speech if you agree with them. So, you know, say whatever you want as long as we agree with you. So basically, you can only have free speech if you're a liberal. Now, we all know that there is a huge bias against conservatives who, funnily enough, are actually the people who support free speech. Um, and they, yeah, and, you know, saying something conservative will get you a lot more backlash than saying something as a liberal. As a liberal, you have to be, like, extreme, but, like, really, really extreme if you're ever going to get censored. Like, liberals can even call for violence. You're now under total Republican rule. Textbook fascism. Fuck you, white America. Fuck you, you racist, misogynistic pieces of shit. Good night. Bitch, I'm ready for a race war if all the hick-ass white people want to fight. POC will destroy y'all. You know what? If I learned to use a gun, I would go after Trump and shoot him. I don't mind being put to death to stop World War III. Tolerant liberal. I have spent the last five days meditating on Trump's election. Upon consideration, I believe this is a call to violence. We should finance those who support violent resistance. We should be willing to take arms. Tolerant liberal. To all my friends that live in red voting states, you have two months to move. After that, don't consider us friends. I want you dead. I want your families dead. I want your wives, husbands, children, and grandchildren dead. Not just dead, but horrible, painful deaths, torturous cancers, bone, brain, burning alive in a fire! In case you were wondering when the left would become so unhinged that they literally began to sound like ISIS, that just happened. Death! 
to Trump and all his supporters. Tolerant liberal. All you military vets who voted for Trump should put a bullet in your brain. Tolerant liberal. It's about time for a presidential assassination. Tolerant liberal. We can't even assassinate Trump because every single person in his administration who would step up to the plate is equally vile. Whereas conservatives aren't even allowed to express their views because everyone I don't agree with is literally Hitler. <laughs> Donald Trump is literally Hitler reincarnated. Trump is literally Hitler. He's gonna take all the Muslims and Hispanics to concentration camps to kill them. Trump is literally Hitler. How do people not see this? Trump is literally Hitler though, and all his supporters are violent right-wing racists. This is the truth! Trump is literally Hitler. His supporters are literally fascist Nazis. We shall kill them! Donald Trump is Adolf Hitler? Uh, 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 Come on, try getting it out. Trump is literally Hitler. WTF, condoning the violence at his rally? Just like Hitler condoning the Nazis to round up all the Jewish. SMH! If you don't realize Donald Trump is literally Hitler, then you're what's wrong with the world! We have very stupid people in our country. Trump is literally Hitler. OMG! Trump is literally Hitler! Trump is literally Hitler! So, you know, that is the situation we live in today. And so why am I saying all of this? Well, that's because today, two channels, two of the biggest conservative channels, the iconoclast and way of the world have just been banned off YouTube. Now, I did watch some of their videos, to be honest. I always thought those two were just a little too extreme. Um, they seem to be, I mean, they reacted to, you know, the kind of insane liberal world we live in today. But I kind of think they overreacted. Um, I think they cared more just about revenge than really about solving the problems um, but either way the point is that these people have just been removed from the face of the internet in an instant and what makes this even more annoying is the fact that I personally have also just been completely banned off YouTube before my channel Micah history history which was a history channel never talked about politics never talked about anything controversial all I did was talk about history that channel got deleted completely like that is how insane it is so that's why I feel bad for these people uh, because you know they just got their whole channel just wiped away and now they'll have to unless YouTube puts their channel back even if they decide to restart they'll have to go and find subscribers all over again and in fact my new channel Mike History 2 which if you haven't subscribed to you should go subscribe I still haven't reached the same amount of subscribers I used to why well that's because of all the damage done by the time I was banned off YouTube and so what I'm trying to say here is that you can't just ban people off YouTube okay? you can't just ban someone just because you don't agree with what they say I mean, as long as, you know, you're not telling, encouraging people to, like, murder someone, I think everyone should be allowed to say what they want. And, in fact, YouTube used to be just that. It used to be the place where everyone with edgy opinions could go and say what they wanted without being persecuted. But now we live in a day of age where there's freedom of speech, but only freedom of speech for everyone who agrees with social justice warriors. Shut the fuck up for the 50th billion time if you'd fucking for example, listen. For example, yeah. The MRA so group. Can you, can you shut the fuck up for a second too? Anyways, I'm not done. Not done. Shut the fuck up. Feminists do not want you. Shut the fuck up. We do not hate you. Fuck face. Mr. Entitled. Mr. Ego. Patriarchy fuck face. I'm so Basically, my point here is that we're all in danger. Everyone with a conservative opinion, at least everyone who is a conservative and expresses their opinion, is at danger. For example, they tried to ban Steven Crowder. In the end, he didn't get banned, but all his videos were demonetized. Most conservative channels are now completely demonetized. Uh, they've been, most of them have been completely banned off Twitter, off Facebook, etc., and so this is a real problem and so the thing is we need to f try to find a way to end censorship um, I don't know how we're gonna do that 
and it's going to be harder and harder. But can't claim that you live in a free world or you support free speech, but then still support censorship. You can't have it both ways. If you want to be for censorship, fine. But then don't go around claiming that you also support freedom of speech. If you do support freedom of speech, then you have to support freedom of speech for everyone, not just for the people you agree with. So, anyways, I think I'll go more into detail about free speech in another video, but that was kind of the point of this video, is to say that these two channels, Way of the World and the Iconoclast, uh, they were both banned off YouTube. Um, and so, that's all I want to say. Hopefully this channel will get banned too, and I'll see you next time.